today doing a kind of unboxing thing. Anyways, um, I ordered this off of Amazon just because I wanted to try it out first to see if uh, I really liked having my binos right here. I had had a harness before and it was just cumbersome and my binos were too big for that harness. It was, it was ridiculous. So I got rid of all that setup. I got new binos and uh, seeing that this is all the craze now is having these pouches. It also seems a lot more convenient than trendy. So I bought these. Uh, it was, I don't know, eight bucks on Amazon. It's the Allen Bino Ready Pouch. Uh, seemed like a fantastic deal to me, so I got it. Uh, I was thinking about getting the Vortex ones just because they look very comfortable, but wasn't ready for that yet. So, settling for this, so let's open it up. Right. Let's dig in here. Beast mode going. There we go. Get that off. Get that off. There we go. Right. That in there. Oh, that seems soft. It's like a neoprene almost. Oh, that is pretty nice actually. All right. Okay. There's the harness. This is the pouch. Little zip ties and rings. And I think that's it. All right. So this is good. I like that it's not, that you don't zip it, that it just has this little drawstring. And then it's got this pull tab. Oh gosh. Ah. Uh, so that's super nice. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and uh, get it all hooked up and get my binos hooked up to it and see how it works. All right, so the binos that I've got now are the Nikon Pro Staff 3S. These things are fantastic. Might have to do a review on these because they work awesome. And my buddy's got the 5S, I think. Anyways, great. I took the uh, the neck strap off, and that's where we're going to hook these up onto the harness. So, super easy. You obviously just click those in there. Uh, and then flip this up. So the logo is facing out, and then how the binos are going to sit in the pouch. And then undo these straps right here, and really just kind of pull it all. Comes all out through the top right here. Right there, and right there. And then all you're really going to do is just re-loop it through there, come right back through the top, pull it back and through the other side right here. Very difficult to see everything is all black, but pull it through just like that. Get this other side real quick, pull it up and through. Back down through the other side, tightened, and there it is. And then, go ahead and get a shot of uh, me putting it on. Alright, so it's pretty easy. Uh, really, just unbuckle one side if you want. Throw this up and over. This around. Grab the other strap. Buckle it in. 
adjust it up on your chest wherever you want it to go. And that's it. Ready to go. Super easy. It's all right here. Pull them out. Do your glassing. Put them away. Nice, quiet, discreet. Obviously, this wasn't very discreet, but this is great. This fits these binos really good, as you can see. That's the profile of the binoculars right now. So, you can get some some fairly decent sized uh, binoculars in here. You can see all the way stretched out, still doesn't fill it up. Side profile, super easy, but it's great. I might even do a, a little pouch or a little hold off right here, do a little pouch for my rangefinder. That'd be pretty nice. Um, I am actually very pleasantly surprised with this. Alan, I think you've outdone yourself, but this is great. It's soft, seems kind of loud, but I don't know, that might just need to be broken in a little bit, but it's great, it feels nice. Uh, you can obviously loosen it up, put it where you want, these uh, flex which is really nice so you can get it nice and comfortable um, if you're out in the middle of winter and it's cold you can bulk up and not have to worry about this uh, being too tight on you uh, this is great or even in summer it feels like it's light enough to where it's not going to be too much obviously you're going to get real sweaty right here where your binos are but it's like a neoprene type of uh, material so it doesn't seem like it's gonna gonna get too bad and you could probably just wash it off and let it dry but other than that I think this is fantastic so nice you know it doesn't fall down too because these straps are your shoulder straps so it's just this that's holding you up or holding it up and it works great so, perfect. I think this is going to do uh, the job that I need it to do for the time being. And I think it's going to do it very well. So, with that being said, this is the Allen Bino Ready Pouch uh, that I bought from Amazon for, I don't know, $8 or something. I'll put the price right here. Uh, but, if you are a budget hunter like myself, and you don't want to go out and spend $70 on the Vortex one, and you just want something cheap and easy um, that you feel like is going to work. I mean, this stuff feels solid. It doesn't feel cheaply made. Um, these straps, these that strap to the, uh, the binos themselves are the exact same material and feel exactly the same as the Nikon neck strap that came with my binos. So, it feels like it's, it's good quality. So, with that being said, get it. If that's what you need, if that's what you want. You just need something to get you out in the woods. Um, glassing, doing whatever you want. This is a fantastic deal. And I would say jump all over it. So, that's all I got for this episode. Thank you for watching. And I always appreciate it. So, that's it.